So the game actually crapped its pants and just swapped out our Colossus for this Colossus. Which is the craziest bug I've ever experienced in Ark before. Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolve Anunnaki and you guys are just gonna hate me. You're gonna hate my guts. I'm about to lose 50% of my subscribers. Now I know today was supposed to be a warden battle and that was actually like two days ago was supposed to be a warden battle and then something happened. I couldn't record all day because Ark was updating and being weird and then the next day the TLC patch came out and then the third day is today. And I promised you guys a warden battle. And I'm gonna give you guys a really good reason why we can't do it today. Why we have to wait till tomorrow. Basically, a few awesome subscribers were sending me clips and URL links to previous battles I have done with wardens. And basically looking at some of the armies we've gone against the wardens with, this army is going to be obliterated. They'll maybe get it down to about 30% health left, but these bastards, who I organized, got all ready for battle and everything, right me all? These loyal soldiers, I actually still need to name two of them, I just got them all lined up this morning when I was getting ready to set up and go to frickin' battle. But then I learned that we definitely do need a few more reinforcements. It can easily be done tomorrow though, because I've been breeding Dota Rexes like crazy. Also, cloning captain is not possible. I spent a full day gathering element, like seriously so many hours gathering element. Finally got 6,000 element shards. Turns out it takes like a week to clone him because he's such a high level. I was like, hell no, a week won't do it. Are you serious? I, I go back to those subscribers with a week and they will chew my head off. I barely get away with an extra day into this fight. But um, here's our army as it stands. You see these four Dota Rexes? Let's see here, one of the names I loved more than anything was Bucky. Bucky was amazing, because obviously he's Captain's best buddy. But here we have Wrecker, Decker, and Pecker. These three troops were going to be the horsemen, basically, for this battle. And then this fourth guy was the was the charm on top. You'd think four Dota Rexes would be able to kill a warden, but according to our Season 2 Anunnaki battles, each of us had to be on a Dota Rex. Each Dota Rex had to have, like, 15 million health itself. And then, of course, we were all on our own individual Dota Rexes with a buttload of health potions, constantly using them every, like, 10-15 seconds, because the wardens do that much damage. So, I'd only be able to be on one of them with health potions. Obviously, the other would die within a couple minutes. Basically, I'm still willing to try it with only two more three Dota Rexes. Not like in our last season where we had like 20, 30 dragon goblins rushing at the uh, rushing at the freaking wardens. So, yes, I hope you guys understand. I just want to see a lot of these creatures make it out. A lot of those Rexes, every Rex is named after a subscriber that's going into battle. And I'd like to see not 100% mortality rates. So just thank you guys so much for sending me footage of like all those previous battles. We almost just rushed in and got vaporized. Either way, it's going down tomorrow, even if we do get vaporized. Um, I just want an extra day of preparation. So here we have Captain. Here we have Old No Name. This one was born last night. Are you freaking kidding me? Zap some stuff. This one was born last night. She is also a female, meaning a good deal of incest is going on in this pile right now. But all in all, we're getting more Dota Rexes out of it. They're spitting two out now per day. We have one egg back at home. I want, actually, this one's taking forever to breed. Yeah, see, this one requires another 14 hours. I might just breed it before I go to bed. Make sure the egg is hatching and then, um... I feel like I could leave that going on right there. Someone shooting fireballs even... Even tied down. You're not... What the hell's this? Mayhem! So yeah, I do apologize to everybody because I know everyone wanted to see a warden battle, but you gotta understand, the point of this isn't just the warden battle, it's those freaking warden essence that it drops. The warden essence is what I need to eventually tame a celestial creature. So I also need to make sure I get the essence. It can't just be about making the fans happy because obviously everyone will just rush and die. We'll have to wait like another week before another warden battle and then we won't get our essence. So the battle instead is going down tomorrow, but, but, and that's a big hairy butt. I've, uh, I, I do have a plan today to make the battle even more epic and to increase the armor on our T-Rexes even more. So I will prevent further deaths and atrocities in this whole situation. And they're gonna look a lot cooler charged into battle. I'm gonna use this extra day. Damn it! I went back to the same teleporter. I'm gonna use this extra day to really get ahead, really do some epic stuff. Alright, well for starters, well for starters actually, I just uploaded a, another Sea of Thieves video onto my second channel. I forgot I haven't uploaded there in like four or five days, it's so hard to remember all these channels. You guys should definitely- oh, oh, I choked. I choked because I'm self-advertising and my body choked myself for that. But um, yeah, if you guys like Sea of Thieves, I commandeer two ships. I go onto a ship, I kill the crew like ten times and I just take their ship and we have two ships. It's amazing! So right here, as you can see in front of you, 
we have the Pit My Dino mod. A mod I have not gotten in here yet, shamefully, but now I do. And right here we have the Rex Metal Saddle. That is one beefed out beefcake and beefy dude right there. Suppose I should go make a little cementing paste run. How many of these do we have? I have no idea what the total amount of resources are at our base for the most part, but I mean, it's still standard, very easy resources to come by. Oh yeah, if you guys are enjoying Anunnaki, make sure to leave a like on the video. If I didn't piss you off too much by putting off the Warden fight, but we need that essence, dude. Where is it like, Celestial? What is it? What is it? It's like in here, I think. To show you guys exactly what we're looking for right here. Consumables. I don't even think I have it unlocked so far above my pay grade. Look at that extra 80 armor per Rex. And they're gonna look so much cooler when they charge into battle this way too. So much more official. It would have been it would have been shameful to send them into battle without this stuff. Like think about it. Even Saruman doesn't send his orcs into battle without proper armor. That's just and they have the new TLC roar. Obviously they don't have the new TLC look, which is actually kind of cool because now we have two different kinds of rexes going on. See, I also figured since I have an extra day, I'm just gonna spend like the rest of the day XP farming because these all need to, like, because you can just craft XP potions in Anunnaki. So that seems like the best way to get them all to a beast level. But look at this right here. They're gonna look so much freaking cooler charging in like that. Hang on, I gotta make some diversi diversifications in our world though. I mean, in our... In our saddles. I mean, it's nice that they all could have metal saddles, but... Obviously the ranks wouldn't be that fancy or anything if we didn't have a couple saddles that weren't exactly Not the beefcakiest Dude Deadpool's for sure get an armor set. God, it's so great. We finally have this in here So many creatures about to be finally up to their fancy. I feel like I shouldn't even put the metal one on you though That's not very Deadpool-esque. You regenerate almost instantly, bud Regenerate because it's cool when he falls off a ledge Deadpool Oh, that's balls! You can't put them on there. You, sir, are balls. And which one of you is a Rex saddle? There we go. I guess it's because he's an Alpha Rex, so they don't use standard no normal Rex saddles. That's... That, I suppose, makes a bit of sense. Hey, I wouldn't be doing my job as a scientist if I didn't try and put this on right here. What do you look like? Holy buttholes! That is horrifying right there. That's awesome. That looks so much better. Our army looks so much better with some armor going. Oh my god. Obviously, I want to put saddles, I mean armor saddles on all of my ultis, but these boys are going off to a war. Now, see, I told you it'd be better just waiting an extra day. Now they all have armor on. They're losing the armor of their saddle, but I'm thinking if I... It's going to be a pain in the ass to make a bunch of Midas touches, though. I just, I guess, just genocide every Rex I see. I mean, every Dragon Golding I see in the world. They look so much more ferocious now. Oh my god. See? Now I seem to craft a bunch more here, and we're in business. That's what I'm talking about. The army looks a little bit better. And the Dota Rexes are going strong. We still have one egg in here. We'll have two more eggs coming from those females in the next, like, 14 hours. And then by tomorrow, within 24 hours, see we have one more in here, we shall be going to battle. Because again, I'm sorry I hold to hold off a warden fight from you guys one more time, but, um... I, 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 um, I, I have to make sure we win. We need that essence, dude. And cloning Dota Rexes isn't a thing. Fucking one week cloning time. Pure savagery. You know what was heartbreaking was I didn't even check the cloning time until it was after like six, eight hours later. I started cloning and then I went and streamed a bunch. There's a dragon gobbling right there. And then I came back and I was like, man, this thing isn't done yet. Holy hell. What's on fire over there? The hell is that thing? Oh, it's a puppet. Okay. Hello, puppet. <laughs> oh, now I want to play Sea of Thieves. Anytime I make a Pirates of the Caribbean re re reference, I almost said Pirates of the Caribbean racist. It's very early. Okay, now this I'm showing you just the weirdest damn thing ever to come to Ark. This isn't going to make sense to anybody, but I'm going to have to show you guys anyways. And we're going to have to figure it out. I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous. Okay, so last night I got online, last night I got on Anunnaki to prep the world a bit, you know? We're going to battle, world needs prepping, doing detailed stuff and shiz, and I go in the water to go check out our Colossus, and Colossus is gone! Colossus isn't there no more! What is in his place now is this vast giant creature! Literally took his place as the creature, look at this, if I go down to the floor you'll see it. You'll see, um, you see his saddle, like, the right at his feet, his saddle started to glitch in right there, that's the saddle- See, that's Colossus, that's the shark saddle right there. 
Here's what happened. I investigated because I was so freaking mind blown. I've never seen anything like this in my life. What happened was in the Pyria Myth mod where this thing's from and in the Godzilla or in the Jurassic Park expansion mod where the Colossus Shark is from, they're both labeled as Colossus. So the game actually crapped its pants and just swapped out our Colossus for this Colossus. Which is the craziest bug I've ever experienced in Ark before. I mean, you guys saw when he's in the water, it glitches and it shows his saddle. It's, it's like the game's still trying to determine which Colossus to give us. So it's like the weirdest freaking situation ever. I don't even know how to slightly turn this situation. I don't even know what the hell to do. The, this, this is what happens when you guys have things labeled the same. But how the hell is every mod dev supposed to like cross-reference each other's creatures with each other? Look at the freaking size of this thing. You guys hear it walk it? See, it's still called War. It still has the same name. What touched me? Gator. Gator touch. We need that new Sarko TLC already. With the TLC patch in, the Sarko's gonna look amazing. If you guys follow me on Twitter, then you know what I'm talking about. See, the funny thing about this is I don't even know if you can tame this guy. I mean, you could ride him, clearly. He's got Torpor. But he's so freaking beast. There's never anything even remotely this beast in this game. But I mean... Cause that's a six million, right? My eyes fail me a lot, but I'm pretty sure it does. But don't think we found the key to defeating the wardens just yet, for he moves at the speed of grandfather's bowel movements and he's just about as lethal. I don't know, I mean, I've never actually tested him out. I've never once walked to a creature before. I started out walking towards the creature, but then I, um, then I just kind of walked back because it's, he, he kind of takes a while to get to you. I can see why he's got so much health. If this thing attacks you, you suck. <laughs> Pretty dope attacks though. This is how squirrels see us. See, we think we're fast, but to a squirrel, this is how slow we are. That's why they get away so quickly. I think that's a thing. Hey, what's going on, buddy? He's a pretty epic creature. Honestly, if he was any sort of other creature, I'd be extremely disappointed instead of just very, very confused over to the situation that's going on here. I mean, he's epic. I don't even know which one should should hold on to the name Colossus, because obviously the shark is called Colossus. There's no more teleporter down there, by the way. I teleported to it, and a prime alpha megalodon ate me and the thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the creature back in his resting place, his forever resting tomb. I like leaving him down here, because my worst fear is that the game's gonna swap it back to the other Colossus, and then it's just gonna insta-die because it's on land, you know? That'll totally happen. But look at this guy, I mean, he's, he's really freaking cool. I still think he's not meant to be tamed. I think he's a boss creature. He's so freaking cool, I love him. The fact that we just have him gifted to us is amazing. Ah! The fact that we lost something to have him, though, is heartbreaking. But, um, they might come, he might come back. I don't know, I don't really know how that's gonna go down. Where'd he go? There he is, as he slowly descends into the water, it's so freaking cool. I'm gonna die in here trying to park your ass. Uh, no! Stop it! Silencio! Stop following me! You're good! You're safe! Stop following me! No! I'm gonna die and you're gonna- Okay, there you go, war. Goodbye, cruel world! Whatever, at least I reparked our Titan. We have a Titan. See, that's what I'm cool with it for. I mean, we lost Colossus, but we gained a Titan. Like, that shit belongs on top of Mount Olympus. Hercules is gonna have to fight that thing one day, according to the Disney movies I grew up with. All right, so, well, as you can see, like, it's weird. A lot of stuff changes in this game, even when I, I don't even have to be in the game, and I have to start the episode showing you guys the crazy changes that have happened. Like, get ready, there's been some crazy changes. I wasn't even a part of them. The universe just did it. Oh my god, you know what would probably look incredulous as hell? Is one of the new T-Rexes wrapped up in crazy ass armor. Oh my god. These guys also aren't going into battle anymore. For those of you wondering what, this, what the situation is on these guys. These things were going to be used when fighting against, um, when fighting against, when we were trying to claim a bunch of Dodo Rexes. That's when they were going to be used. Now against Wardens, no, they'll be one shot and they won't do any damage. We'll have to wait for them to catch up to us. The whole thing just sounds absolutely awful. All right, I got three sedative narcotics on me. That's a good day right there. I am butt naked, however, and I know you guys hate when I do that. Even though armor is purely just for looks in this for, in this survival series, they they do nothing for you. Oh, I can't wait to get back on man panties and head out. That's gonna be the shiz right there. Did I ever leave anything in you? 
This is where I left a artifact of the destroyer. Where? I don't even remember coming up on these things. That explains why I left my other monkey head, though. You're a nice pair of pants and a backup pair of pants. That's all we wear in this place is pants, all right? Again, every creature here will one-shot your armor. It doesn't even matter if it's full celestial right here. So literally just throw out a pair of leaves to cover up those genitals and off on adventure we go. Oh, by the way, for those of you wondering if I'm still moving everything to this floating island, it's not going to happen. This is becoming Dodo Rex Island is what it is, our Dodo Rex breeding zone. Dodo Rexes have to go to a special high altitude area in order to fully reach their potential for doing it. Um, plus, like, the entire map's about to update that entire blank region. Wait, you boy, you're, yeah, you're a soldier. Into the warrior's pile. See, even if I had four people in the survival series and each one of them was on one of these Dota Rexes, then we could defeat a warden, easy. But the fact that I'm only going to be on one of them using health potions on one of them means that the others will die. And when the others die, mine might die. And when mine dies and the others die, then everything dies. And then, well, then everything's dead. And I don't get me any goddamn warden essence, which is what I need in life. I know you guys want to see a warden fail. It's probably still going to happen. I just want to make sure we get out of there with some money. Where is, I think it's over this way, yeah, over this way is where the, uh, the mod dev, the, uh, uh, the mod dev of the map is teasing get all your dinosaurs out of the area because the map update's about to be here and I'm like 99% sure all this over here is gonna be the aberration bits. It's gonna be so much fun. I didn't want to put an aberration mod in here that adds aberration creatures. I wanted to just wait till the map was here and it's about to be here. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, feel free to comment and names. Always, always just feel free to comment names because I always have creatures being produced. We're going to have three more Dodo Rex babies. Clearly, I mean, Bucky was the best name ever you guys suggested, but with these guys, I was like Decker and Wrecker. Those are good names. What do we need the third one? Because this uh, Bucky wasn't born until this morning, so I named him Pecker. And, um, you know what? Because he's a birdie. Pecks it doesn't have to be a dick joke. I totally forgot birds have been known to peck things. Hey, Captain, you're the whole reason I came here, bud. The world is harsh. I've actually spotted multiple other wardens in the past day since we've started talking about going to battle and such. So, um, sketchy stuff's going on. Holy crap, there's another one of them right there. Are you serious right now? Holy but holy. Ah, oh, it's a male. The one we have a base is a male also, isn't it? Shizen. Wow. Oh, I thought that was a giant glow tail. That was it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to tame you, but I'm not going to kill you. That, that'll be my thing. If you survive the area, then you survive. Sorry, gnarly looking monster dude. I can't have that kind of attitude around here. I'm not even putting up with these things. These are the Jurassic Park ones that will pick you up and drop you. They are called bastards, and we hate them. See, sometimes I just gotta come out here and call the local populations. Look at this. They get they breed so erratically It's absolutely insane It's always right here, too. That's why my frame rate drops when I enter this part of the map so often That's a lot of death back there. All right, the other warden I saw actually Was right up directly in front of me but this warden, I feel like we could kill, but I always just forget how much it's just been like a solid year since I've fought a warden. So I never know, um, I never know what I'm in for. That's why I'm so happy you guys sent me footage of the last time I fought them. Holy hell! I feel like something knocked me right off my creature as I did that. You've stunned him! That thing's crazy as hell! A D-O-Rex? Not very high level, buddy. I'm sorry. I would have loved to take you with me. I just need to grab something a slight higher level, but you are awesome. Knocked me right off my dude, too. No shame. There's always a giant seeker here. Every time. What the hell are these things? I guess the easiest way to find out something it is is to just burn it all. I got some Jurassic Park corner. I can be sure. <laughs> Whoa, there's one of those things. What are you doing out here? That thing is booking it. What level are you, buddy? What level are you? Give me a reading! Give me a reading! I only have a low level one of these! It is bro- That's- Damn it! It said it for a second, but my eyes did not adjust that quickly. You really can't trust cat people. I mean, you think you can trust cat people, but then you just have to burn them up. Right on the spot. Because you can't trust- What the hell am I talking about right now? 
I'm completely zoning out. There's a lot going on in my mind right now. Overflowing with mind grapes. It's just a lot going on in life. All in all, in the back of my head, I'm still super pumped to go for that freaking warden battle. So we gotta start going through those, man. How many wardens do we have to kill? We have to kill so many wardens, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna go burn that tree ants. Ooh! Is that a T-Rex? Arr, there she blows. First you sedate the everything. Oh, he's gonna make me poo my pants! You're vanilla, these should be melting your face right now. Becky, you're so vanilla. Wait, get your ass back here. I have seen Anunnaki creatures go down with one dart before. I mean, one arrow. That was crazy. Give me your feet pockets. What lies in thy feet pockets? Do you only have regular cadaver flesh on, you crazy bastard? What's going on, buddy? My first normal Rex I've ever tamed. And it's a boy. I feel like I'd rather have a female T-Rex. I don't mean to be sexist or anything, but according to Jurassic Park, those are the ones you gotta watch out for. Please tame in 15. Oh, you dirty bastard. You're not gonna tame in 15, are you? I suppose I could not be a little... I just burnt everything in a five mile radius and I didn't get any more prime meat. I feel like I should have eaten all the creatures though, is what you gotta do, Johnny. Bur burning them isn't just a no. You can't just burn stuff. Well, what kind of tame and efficiency are we getting off this guy? I gotta keep it with the freaking prime meat. There's no way, but he only needs far more. You're a vanilla Rex. You need all the help you could get in this cruel world to stay alive. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to dead. I swear the vanilla creatures are able to withstand stuff better than most Anunnaki creatures. It's crazy. This would have destroyed the poop out of an Anunnaki creature. I mean this stick. I've dropped so many big things with this stick. In what world are face shots not more damage? What the hell? You should be vastly more. All right, now I got your prime meat. Where is he? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, I thought you were a rock. What the hell? You would make a good looking rock, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I should be able to feed him cadaver flesh. If Jurassic Park is based in any sort of realism, I feel like it's they'd enjoy humans. I know everyone likes to think that Jurassic Park is fake as shit and it's not even remotely real, but you guys are confused. It was it explains in the books it was never supposed to be exactly real. Those are only like 60% those die like the the, the raptor, the Vel Jurassic Park Velociraptor doesn't look real at all. But it's only like 60% Velociraptor, there's like frog in there and just random shit, chameleon. It's threw some of Jeffrey Dahmer's DNA in there to make it extra crazy. Like that's that was never meant to be a perfect Velociraptor. Oh, I did get him. Oh thank god. I thought I was actually gonna have an issue on my hands right there. Yay, we tamed Rex! Oh my god. Wow, that new face is so ridiculously cool. It's like insane. Alright, let's get you back to our... I guess I should... Let me do this. You can still be safe here, right, buddy? Dude, the Rex is so little. Poor little bugger. Barely even fits in around here. God, it is vibrant as hell this time of day. Jesus Christ. Look, he's just so little. Looks like a baby Alpha Rex. Little Deadpool. Let's get a set of armor slapped on you. See how fancy you look then, bud. Is this it? I should have built a second floor for this. You don't belong here. <laughs> you don't belong here. I feel like it'll look coolest with this one, actually. Damn it! What do I need? I feel like it's hide. It's something stupid I never think to gather. This is exactly what's going on here. Well, I'm gonna have to go steal that armor set off another Rex then. And then put the metal sets on another Rex because honestly, every Rex over here should have should have a uh, metal armor on as well. And don't worry, everyone. Like uh, to all the people who uh, really, 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 really want their name slapped on a Rex. This is the first wave we're sending at the first warden. There are going to be many, 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 many more Rex armies going. Into wow, you gain a lot of XP just sitting here. But uh, many more armies going into battle and um. They're all gonna need names, obviously, so don't you fret, everybody. Maybe you still have like two Jurassic Park bosses to beat and then every warden, so yeah, that's a lot. And then if there's ever any more bosses added to anything, then you better believe it. Alright, let's just slap this one extra little slut, slut, sl set of our burp talk armor on you, Jesus. And now for the moment I've all been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the horns at, buddy? Is that a leather one? Did I put a leather saddle on you? That looks so lame. I'm so sorry. Is that what happened? 
Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. I was like, with the, with the build up. Da, 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 da. God, Johnny, you stupid bastard. Hang on, see, this is what happened. I never took it off this creature's inventory. I thought I did, but I was mesmerized by its level and then didn't. And now I just look stupid. Like a big old stupid awesome idiot. The hurricane's throwing me off a little bit too. What is happening? There we go. God. Sheesh. Damn, that does look freaky. Why have we not been doing this the entire time? The Rexes look so much cooler now, and they're way more fit for battle. See, these poor bastards may look, I mean, they each have about, see, this is the issue. Uh, wardens apparently do about 100k damage each, I mean, it's just, it's just things, each bite, things are gonna get frosty out there on the battlefields. It's just better to have a couple more Dota Rexes. I want the freaking essence, man. Captain needs to have more children first. We're just so short compared to everybody else. God, this looks cool. I haven't messed. Hey, Morty, what's going on? Morty. Morty, you little piece of shit. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just crazy to think that I almost went into battle without my Rexes being armed at the wazoo ready for anything. Like, the, to th the audacity. What were we thinking? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here and get busy on the freaking, get those last little round of Dota Rexes out, get all those experience potions crafted, and then it's time to send these bad boys off to war. It's gonna be freaking awesome. They're coming back with some face. I want, wait, face? No, essence. They're gonna tear the face off as essence and bring me the essence face. Hey, what does this look like? See, this one I wasn't too sure about because it covers a lot of the face, but it still looks pretty dope. They look, they just look so much better with this on them. Ah, this is amazing. I am so ready to go to battle now. So I knew something was missing. If only we had some sort of Dodo Rex army. That's, that would be life right there, man. Ah, oh, Dodo Rex army would be so cool. I mean, I don't know, obviously we'll have a Dotorex army. I meant a Dotorex armor. Dotorex armor would be amazing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, though. And just go and get breeding. Get my hands dirty till tomorrow. Look how cool he looks. If you guys had a good time watching, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace! It's time to get in here.